Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about what Khajiits are good at and what you should use them for. So I'm going to show some specific stats on the screen now from the unofficial Elder Scrolls wiki. I think that's the one I used, or the wiki, one of the two. And it's stats on Khajiits. I actually really like Khajiits as stealth characters, like super stealth characters, and that's basically what all their skills are, is like super stealth. Um, they also have the hand-to-hand -hand bonus, and they're pretty interesting. Just for me in general, you know, playing as cat people, I find is a very interesting concept, one that is unconventional, we should say. But what are Khajiits good for? Like I said, every stealth class, but more importantly is I feel like they are, instead of going full stealth, use them to buff up your stealth if you suck at stealth, right? So me, I don't remember to sneak all the time, right? If I'm, making a, if I'm playing a stealth character like an assassin, I don't remember to sneak all the time. So a Khajiit is great for me because if I, if I don't remember to sneak all the time, my sneak skill isn't going to be up to par where it should be. And that Khajiit, you know, is going to replace that stealth stat. It's going to fix it for me a little bit. Khajiits are also really good for hand-to-hand. Hand-to-hand -hand is probably one of my favorite skills in Oblivion, just as a concept, because what it does is it damages health and fatigue. Ironically enough, that's what it does. Like, in Skyrim, that's what Frost does, right? But the only thing that has like a double effect on people is your, um, your punching, basically. It's kind of interesting. I know like you can make custom spells, but custom spells that do two effects just suck in Oblivion. I think I'm just gonna be completely honest. They suck really, really bad. Like, really bad. So, Khajiits, stealth, 100%. Stealth, stealth, stealth. They're pretty weak, but, like, I'm pretty sure last time I checked mine, the endurance, I'm trying to think, was at, like, 40 or 50, and the agility was at, like, 70 after create a class or something. It was crazy. Like, I put agility into my character, too. So it's just like that that's like you can bump it up to 70 agility and still have low endurance and strength i don't really like a blue or i don't like not oblivion i don't really like khajiits as mages because their magic is low and like the difference between magic and combat is combat in the beginning of the game is really easy to offset right because you know the strength you know your damage is just kind of related to your strength and your skill level so it kind of doubles up but your magic is related to how expensive the spell is to cast, and already you have a low magic pool. So it's kind of like, magic is the one skill, I think, actually. This, this kind of goes into the concept of magic's the one skill in this game where you have to go all in to actually be really, really good at. Battle mages are kind of eh, but like Khajiit, low strength, low sword, no problem. You just train it up. Magic, it gets, it's harder because you have that willpower concept too, right? Strength is just strength plus, let's say sword, strength plus blade. Magic is intelligence plus willpower plus spell, um, spell level, right? So it just gets more complicated than that. And combat, you can just offset it by at level 20, you find a Diedrich sword and you're fine. You just sneak around and up your blade skill that way. So that's what I think about Khajiits. That's what I think they're useful for. I would love to know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more Oblivion videos. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.